free from link chain here. We love this video from Smitha at Assembly AI about how to build an LLM application with audio. So we wanted to share it with you. Hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Smitha from Assembly AI and in this video I'm going to show you how you can integrate audio data into Langchain applications in Python. What we're going to do is we're going to take this video right here and I'm actually going to take the audio of that, put that into a Langchain LLM application and ask questions on it. Also, if you don't already know what Langchain is, Langchain is a framework for building LLM applications. For a more in-depth explanation on Langchain, check out this video above. The first thing I've done is created an empty Python file called demo.py. And also what we're going to do next is create a Python virtual environment where we will be downloading different libraries that we need. So let's go ahead and open terminal. And then you want to do Python 3 mbn and you can name this as VNV. Once you have done that, let's actually activate it. So you can do that by clicking dot VNV slash bin slash activate. And once it's activated, you'll see it right here. And next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to install three different libraries that we need for this. So go ahead and do pip install assembly AI and assembly AI is the library which helps us to actually process, transcribe and upload the audio. And then we're going also going to do pip install langchain and pip install open AI. So these are the three Python libraries that we require for this project. Once you have done this, we're actually ready to start writing the code for this. So first off, what we have done is imported all of these modules that we require. So for example, assembly AI audio transcript loader uh, to actually load the audio and transcribe it. And then also open AI for the LLMs and then also load QA chain for the question and answering aspect. Next, what we'll do is we will import our audio file, which I've already created here. It's called transformersvideo.mp3. Feel free to use any other file that you want, or you can do the same. But then we're going to do audio file is equals to the transcriber re transformers video. And then we're going to do loader is equals to assembly AI transcript loader. And then we're going to give our file name. And we'll create a docs object. What Loader does is it creates an object, sends it to the Assembly AI API, transcribes it, and then we're going to actually load that transcript into Docs. Right now, the Docs object, if we run it, will contain the transcript of our video file. So up to this point, what we've done is uploaded the audio file and then transcribed it. So let's actually go ahead and print that out. And we can do that by running Python 3 demo dot py. Now at this point, you will get prompted to enter your assembly AI API key and you can do that by doing export assembly AI API key and then entering your API key right here. And then run python3 demo.py again. And there you have the entire transcript of the audio file. So now that we have the transcript of this audio file, what we're going to be doing is actually applying Langchain's LLMs on top of this. So let's actually do that. I'm going to comment out this print statement and then we're going to do LLM equals to open AI and create a variable called QA chain. And we're going to use the load QA chain method. And for the method load QA chain, we're going to give two variables, which is first off open AI and as well as the type of chain that we are interested in. After I've done that, I'm going to do answer equals to QA chain dot run. So for this run method, we're going to be giving two inputs. The first input is going to be the docs variable that we created earlier, which contains our transcript. And the second is actually going to be the question that we want to ask this LLM. Once we've done that, all we have to do is print out our answer. Make sure to save your demo.py file. And then once you do that, go back into terminal and run Python 3 
demo.py. If you're running this for the very first time, you're going to get this error of a missing OpenAI API key. Now, in order to solve this, all you have to type in is your API key for OpenAI. So you can do this by doing export OpenAI API key and then enter your API key here. Once you have entered this, let's run it once more. And here we have our answer from the LLM chain that we made. So transformers are a type of neural network used to process text data or any sequence data. So this is extremely cool. And I can see so many different applications for this, specifically making use of audio data. Audio data is one of the largest types of data that we have out there in terms of video, in terms of audio, in terms of recordings. So it completely makes sense that we can use a tool like this to build many, many cool applications. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let us know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more AI content.